Hello, my dear student. How are you all? Everyone fine? I am also doing great. I know right now everyone is busy for preparing for their upcoming exam, that is for May 2025 attempt. But there is one important question which we need to discuss right now. Is sir, how to score exemption in FR paper? Now, can I say if you score 60 or more than 60 marks in TA final financial reporting paper, it will be very easy to get an aggregate of 150 marks and you can easily pass group 1 paper. So it become a very important question how to score exams in FR. What I will do, I will give you 5 mantras which I have followed when I was writing CA final paper. And believe me, by following that simple 5 mantra, I have scored more than 90 marks in FR paper in CA final. Understood? Means you can also follow the same rule for other subjects. But I will right now concentrate the entire discussion for CA final financial reporting paper because I teach that subject. Can we start a discussion? The first mantra is what? You need to follow ICI resource. Now when I say ICI resource, you need to do all the questions given in ICI study material, RTP, MTP and all the past year examination questions. I know every student is following ICI study material. But what is the difficulty in that? That ICS study material, the recent ICS study material will not contain all the questions given in RTP, MTP and past year examination questions. Means you require one book in which you will have all the questions of ICS study material, RTP, MTP and the past year examination questions. So you need to follow that book. And if you are following ICS study material, you need to make sure that you are also covering RTP, MTP and exam past examination questions. Understood this point? If you are my student, of course you are following my question bank. If you are following my question bank, can I say already in that question bank we, we have incorporated all the questions of ICS study material, RTP, MTP and past year examination question. Correct? Understood. And if you are if you are following my our old edition question bank, so already the, all the new question has been given the telegram channel. I hope you have already downloaded all the new question incorporated in the ICI new scheme syllabus study material understood yes sir the first mantra is that follow ICI resource do all the questions given by ICI either in study material RTP MTP and pass the examination question this is the first mantra correct now when I say do all the question it does not mean that you need to do all the questions you need to be smart enough to only go through all the questions if you do not have time be smart to understand that how much time is required for doing that particular chapter and allocate a time in that manner. Understood? But you need to go through all the questions. And when you are going through all the questions, when you are going through one question, if any point is there which you have not understood, just highlight it and try to revise that point just before exam. Understood? This is the first mantra. Correct. Second mantra is what? That you need to have the conceptual understanding of each chapter. Now, when I say conceptual understanding, it means that you need to know the concept behind all the questions. Now, if you are doing questions without understanding the concept, so even though you have done the question, you will forget the solution in exam hall. So you need to have the conceptual understanding. And now, with introduction of MCQs, can I say this conceptual understanding is more required? Correct. Now, when I say conceptual understanding, it does not mean that you need to you need to memorize the India's content. If you are conceptually, if you have conceptually understood that chapter, you can write down in your own word. That is more, that is enough from examination point of view. Correct? So when I say conceptual understanding, it does not mean that you write down the exact India's language in exam. You can write down in your simple, in simple English word in exam and that, that will give you 100% marks. Understood what I am saying? But you need to have the conceptual understanding behind each and every question. So you should be, second point what happened? You should be conceptual, conceptual understanding of each chapter. Correct. So for that already we have provided India Saran's book. So you need to go through that India Saran's book. Normally what students do, they do only, they only follow question bank. But they need to also revise the India's content and try to recall the concept of all the chapters. Understood? Correct. The second point you have understood that you need to have the conceptual understanding of each chapter. The third point is about time management. 
time management means you need to complete the entire question paper of 100 marks in 3 hours normally what happens students are not able to complete the entire question paper of 100 marks in 3 hours and suppose if you are only only writing 75 marks paper or 80 marks paper can you say it will be difficult to score more than 60 in that particular case correct i'm not saying that you can't score in that case in that case you need to be 100 percent perfect in that 80 marks solution whatever you have given correct now but can you see if you cover if you have if you have if you have attempted 100 marks paper it become very easy to score more than 60 marks understood so your time management should be very much important ki how to manage time in examination hall to cover all the questions of 100 marks in that three hours correct for that you require four hours of practice for that you need to write some mock test understood correct before examination so that you will be able to understand how to manage time in exam hall this is the third mantra fourth mantra is what avoid small small information and calculation mistake means i have seen that student know the concept student are able to manage the time but they do small small calculation mistake or small small information mistake and because of that reason key out of 60 marks they will get only two or three marks correct can you see this become one of the reason why students are not able to score in fr paper correct now being fr paper the question will lengthy so you should be fully means i will say you should be fully attentive uh, while reading the questions only correct so what i suggestion i will give that in FR paper, have a good sleep, go to exam hall, have confidence on yourself, have full concentration in your exam while reading the question paper and avoid information mistake, avoid calculation mistake and if you can avoid these two mistakes, believe me, your 40 marks will become 70 marks, understood? So avoid information mistake, avoid calculation mistake. The last mantra is what? Do not ignore small chapters. Normally what I have seen that in the last revision last revision just before exam student revise only a category chapters they will totally ignore b category and c category and you know, b category they will revise but c category chapter they will totally ignore now what is important what is not important that we don't know we can understand important and not important and the chapters which are not important only when we receive the question paper can you see if you are getting any question from india s2 in your exam the so india s2 become an important chapter correct so you can't ignore small small chapter revision and can you see if you have not revised just before exam it is quite possible that you will not be able to recall that concept it is quite possible and you are not able to write in exam hall so normally student what they do they only concentrate on a category or some chapters of b category and they will try try to ignore c category chapter just before exam and what happened from c category also and b category means b plus c category almost 60 marks question will be from b plus c category so that become an important point so you should not ignore any chapter you should not ignore any chapter revise all the chapter before exam correct because the question paper will be of 120 marks out of 120 marks 60 marks will be from a category and 60 marks from will be from b plus c category so i will say try to revise the chapter in an effective way so that you can write all the question in three hours understood correct for that how to revise already i have uploaded a video of abc analysis and revision strategy that you can watch understood correct now description of that video will be given the uh, link of that video will be given the description of this video understood now coming to the next point is how can i help you in scoring exemption these five mantras so you have understood now coming to my part ki how can i help you in scoring what 60 marks or more than 60 marks correct the so first way he already have uploaded my all the revision videos recent revision video as per the new as per the new scheme of syllabus correct now already have uploaded in the youtube channel so that will help you to revise all the content understood that will help you to revise all the content provided you have time for listening that lectures understood so that part already i have done i have uploaded my entire revision of 50 hours approximately in the youtube channel the link of that videos will be given in the description video if the time permit you can go through that video and that will help you to revise the concept in just 50 hours just 50 hours understood second that about the test papers what i will do i will provide you the test paper also now in the test paper what we have done we have nine chapter wise test 
थ्री क्यूमलेटिव टेस्ट एंड वन मॉक टेस्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड मार्क्स तो दैट विल प्रोवाइड यू दैट विल प्रोवाइड यू विदाउट एनी कॉस्ट फॉर दैट यूनिट टू फिल द गूगल फॉर्म गिवन इन द गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो नाउ इन दैट गूगल फॉर्म यूनिट टू राइट डाउन योर ई मेल आई डी तो इफ यू हैव जस्ट फिल दैट गूगल फॉर्म देन ओनली विल सेंड यू दैट टेस्ट पेपर करेक्ट इन योर ई मेल आई डी तो यू रिसीव दैट टेस्ट पेपर सुन वंस वी रिसीव द द ई मेल आई डी फ्रॉम यू अंडरस्टूड तो दैट विल बी गिवन टू यू करेक्ट ना तो इन दैट आई विल सजेस्ट यू दैट इफ यू हैव टाइम देन यू कैन राइट डाउन वट नाइन यू कैन यू नो नाइन नाइन चैप्टर वाइज टेस्ट बिकॉज राइट नाउ यू डोंट हैव टाइम टू राइट डाउन ऑल द टेस्ट अंडरस्टूड तो आई विल से दैट यू जस्ट राइट डाउन थ्री क्यूमलेटिव टेस्ट एंड वन मॉक टेस्ट दैट विल हेल्प यू टू स्कोर वट मोर देन सिक्सटी मार्क्स बिकॉज दैट विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू मैनेज टाइम हाउ टू मैनेज टाइम करेक्ट the last point is what expected question soon i am releasing the expected question every attempt i release the expected question and i know that everyone started demanding also ki sir when you are releasing the expected question it is in the process in the process soon i will be releasing expected question so that will be also from my side that soon i think within one week will be releasing the expected question now if you want the expected question fill the google form this time i will send the expected question through email only understood so fill the google form if you want expected question these three things i can provide you from my side which will help you in scoring what exams and in fr paper understood i wish you all the best for the preparation i hope this video will definitely help you to understand how to score exams and fr if you have liked the video please press the like button subscribe the channel and share the video to all your friends so that they can also understand how to score exams in fr understood all the best once again for your preparation bye bye love you all meet you soon in some other video bye bye